shorts. I certainly hope the three of you are hydrated, because it's pretty hot out here. What are we doing, exactly? Construction. Construction in Florida? If you want a TPK, just say that. Sarah, you'll be doing road construction, specifically paving and repaving roads. Did you okay this? I just got here. Lance, you're building a skyscraper. Oh, yay. And Justin, you'll be remodeling a residential bathroom. Sweet. I get to be inside with the AC. Hey, why does he get the easy job? You've obviously never remodeled a residential bathroom. What does that mean? You'll see. Roll initiative. 12. 21. 19. Sarah's up first. Today you'll be paving a stretch of I-95, and the UV index is at 11 today, so you'll probably want to put on some sunscreen. 11? On a scale of what? 10. As an asphalt laborer, you'll assist in the pouring, smoothing, and setting of asphalt. Give me a work check. Five. Looks like you're falling behind. Your foreman tells you to pick up the pace. Take three radiant damage. I put on sunscreen. I know. That's why you took half damage. Anyway, get it together. The road is starting to get uneven. It's melting. Lance, how's the high-rise business? I, I could be better. My character is scared of heights too, apparently. Oh yeah, I forgot I did that. What exactly is my job? Welding on the 27th floor. Justin, how's the bathroom? Pretty good so far. The owners made me coffee and now we're just talking about what they want done. Which is? Simple tile and paint. Just need to run to Home Depot and pick up supplies. Give me a drive check and a shop check. 28 and 23. Nice. You make it there and back with the proper materials. Everything seems to be going according to plan. That's good, right? Sure. You're making record time. Speaking of record, Sarah, how's the weather? It's too hot out here. I need a break. I'm taking a break. Uh, you can't just take a break. Lunch isn't for like four more hours. What? No, I just want some water. Sorry, your company doesn't allow for personal breaks, and they don't have to. To drink water in 100 degree heat. Isn't that against the law? Not in Florida. Give me a con save. Great. Is this for heat exhaustion? Hmm? Oh no, this is for a different thing. This is for phosphogypsum exposure. Phospho what now? Phosphogypsum. It's a byproduct of fertilizer production. It's also radioactive. Six. Okay, thanks. This is bullshit. Lance, how's it going? Okay. I, uh, I think, I think this is the right floor. I'm not exactly sure. I did keep my eyes closed the entire way up here. You're in charge of connecting steel beams. The crane will be swinging them into position. Swing? C crane? Yes. The crane will swing the beams into position and you will weld them into place. In no way should, oh God, in no way should I be in charge of this. Too late, there's a beam swinging your way already. Give me a reflex save and a weld check. 19 and 25. Nice work. You duck out of the way and then perfectly weld it as it slides into position. Oh, uh, rad. Maybe this isn't so hard? Your boss tells you to keep up the good work. I. Guess I could go. I guess I could get used to this. Justin, how goes it? Just about done, actually. And it looks pretty good, if you ask me. The wife walks in and takes a look around. She says, Oh, geez. Is this the color tile we picked? Sure is. Globulous green, just like you asked for. Mm hmm, mm hmm. And how hard would it be to change it completely? Um, pre pretty hard, since it's already been grouted, so. I'd have to... As you say this, the husband comes around the corner and sees your work. Whoa, what the heck happened in here? I was just telling your wife that this is the globular green that you asked for. She says, well, we hate it. So unless you change it, we're not paying for it. What? You can't just not pay me. My services have been rendered. The husband laughs and says, yeah, well, I'm an attorney. I don't think you want to try it, pal. Fine, but I'll just have to go back to the store. What color do you want this time? The wife hands you the paint sample. Sarah, you are the last surviving member of your team, as everyone else has either passed out or quit or left the state. Take five more radiant damage. I'm quitting. Lance, are they hiring over there? Oh yeah, probably. Construction has a pretty high turnover rate. I'm gonna go work at the tower. Lucky for you, they're desperate. Do you even have any experience constructing skyscrapers? I've played SimCity. Good enough. You'll be the crane operator. Welcome to the team, Sarah. It looks like we'll be working together. Oh, kinda. Lance, give me another weld check. 
34. That's impressive. You're on pace to break the record for the most beams welded in a day. Uh, check me out, guys. I'm on fire. You do realize you're actually on fire, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll put it out after I finish this weld. Look at that scene. The beams keep coming and you keep welding. Sarah sits in the operator seat. Okay, Sarah. Nice and easy. Give me an operate crane check. Two. Oh, crap. The beam comes flying in at a breakneck speed. Give me a reflex save to dodge. Oh, eight. You managed to get out of the way just in time, but you are now hanging on to the edge of the building for dear life. This is fun. Justin? Okay, the barnacle brown tiles have been set. Perfectly, I might add. Now the wall color seems off. Can we put the globular green on the wall? I guess. I'll have to go back to the store again. She says that's fine, but asks if you can hurry it up. Give me a supply run check. 24. You collect the paint and return to the house. When you get there, you notice that the husband is now in the bathroom inspecting your work. I got the globular green, sir. He says, hey, so we decided we're just going to redo all of this with granite. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. I'm not doing it. I quit. If you quit before finishing the job, I'll see you in court. I did the job twice. Th that's it. I'm attacking the tile. You, you what? Yep. I'm pulling out my sledgehammer of fury. 29 to hit the tiles. You successfully bash through the tile. The homeowner screams and calls the police. How's it going downtown? I'll swing a beam over to Lance so he can grab on. Really? Y you are gonna save me. It's something to do. 27. The beam swings right next to him. Lance, give me an athletics check to grab onto it. Oh, 28. Thank you so much, Sarah. I dropped the beam. Of course you do. The rate at which the beam falls to the ground causes a friction fire in the crane's winch. I should have thought this through. I'd say that was sufficiently close to what I expected. What are you thinking for next week? As promised, the outdoor one-shots continue. Today, you'll be doing some landscaping. Seriously? Of all the things we could have done, we're doing lawn care? Yeah, after last week, I'm just glad our feet are firmly on the ground. Just wait till it starts raining mid-mow. You have three lawns on the schedule today. And remember, the faster you get them done, the faster you can go home. Can we split up? Like, we could each take one. Unfortunately, you only have enough equipment on the truck to do one lawn at a time. All right, let's get to it. The first house is in a gated community with a strict HOA. This is a premium customer, so you don't want to mess this one up. <sighs> that is a lot of pressure before 11 a.m. As you pull up in front of the house, everyone roll a d6 to see what you'll be doing. Two. Three. Five. Okay, Sarah, you're on the mower. Waylon, you'll be edging. <laughs> Sounds like my side. Saturday... Save the jokes for another time, please. Lance, you'll be trimming hedges into the shape of seahorses. Seahorses. Sea seahorse eye? What? And remember, it's a very important client. Okay, what kind of rig is it? Zero turn, stand on? Push. You'll be using a push mower. What? This yard is huge. It's going to take forever. It'll take even longer if you keep complaining. What kind of a landscaping company uses a push mower? It's a small company. I thought you said they were looking to expand. Well, this grass ain't going to edge itself. I'm going to grab the Echo and get on with it. Since it's gas powered, give me a dex check to start it. Six. Sorry, it's a few years old, so it's a pretty high DC. Nine. Four. Thirteen. Seventeen. Your repeated failures have flooded the carburetor. You'll have to wait fifteen minutes and try again. <sighs> I guess I'll grab my scissors. Lance, give me a trim check. Ooh. Ooh. Twenty-two. You're doing much better than expected. The hedge is indeed beginning to look like a seahorse, and the homeowner has ventured outside to admire your work. Morning, ma'am. Hope you like what you see. The woman smiles and winks. I sure do. Yeah. Can I polymorph my hands into hedge clippers? Uh, sure. Oh, this will end well. Sarah, give me a strength check to push the mower. I'm not doing that. You, you have to. It's your job. I'm going to break into the neighbor's garage. Why? To get a riding lawnmower. It'll make this job way easier. You're actively making it harder, but okay. Give me a stealth check and a lockpick check. 19 and 24. There is indeed a riding mower in the garage, but it needs a key, so you'll need to- 
That's a 44 to hotwire it. Should I even ask why your hotwiring skill is so high? You successfully steal the neighbor's mower. Sweet. I'll start mowing. Waylon, you should be able to give the edger another try. <sighs> okay, got this. 23. It roars to life. Give me a cut in a straight line check. Two. How much do you know about plumbing? Less than I know about lawn care. It shows. You've managed to cut through the customer's water line. Why is the water main so close to the surface? Looks like it's one of the HOA regulations. Anyway, the yard's being flooded. I'll turn off the main. I'll be back. Lance, your hands are officially hedge clippers. I am become clipper. Destroyer of hedge. It seems that you've amassed quite an audience. A group of 10 to 15 neighbors has gathered to watch you work. Yeah, I'm going to try to make one of these into a blue eyes white dragon. That's not what the client asked for. Yeah, I know. It's way cooler. 24 on my hedgecraft check. You successfully turn one of the hedges into a dragon. Ooh. Ow. I wonder if I can make that one a beholder. Sarah, how's the mow? Easy, now that I have an actual lawnmower. I'm almost done. As you're mowing the ditch, your blade collides with a heavy object, which shakes the deck. Oh, no. The jostling throws you off balance, and the mower begins tipping over. Give me a deck save. Seven. The mower flips over, pinning you underneath it. You just can't stand giving me a win. Hey, Edward, you want to lend me a scissor hand? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did you need something? Just come get this thing off of me. You do remember last week when you basically dropped me to my death? Waylon, when you get back from the store, you see that all the hedges have been shaped into D&D &D monsters. Aren't they supposed to be seahorses? You also see that Sarah is laying in the ditch, penned under the stolen mower. Lance is standing over her with hedge clipper hands. What, uh, what's going on? It's awesome. Sarah is trapped under the lawnmower. On. Yeah, I can see that. Why haven't you pulled it off of her? I'm gonna pull the tractor around. Wait. Why should we? Uh, because we have two more lawns to do, and it looks like it's gonna rain any minute. No, no, no. Not in-game, like IRL. Why should we save her? Ooh, I want to hear this. Well, for one, uh, it's a decent thing to do. She's our friend. And C, um, she's our co-worker. All these years. All these years we've been subject to the wrath of Sarah. Ugh. And finally, she's dead to rights. This is our chance. Are you, are, you, are you talking about killing Sarah? I am talking about killing Sarah. You know I can hear you, right? She is in the ditch. Sure would be a shame if broken water line flooded it. Do it. I'm turning the water back on. What? It also starts raining. You're going to be regretting this for a long time. Well, <laughs> you're right. It's worth it. It won't be. As Sarah yells at you, another company truck pulls up and a man steps out. Uh-oh. What are you idiots still doing here? You should be halfway through your second yard by now. Oh, sorry, sir. We really got caught up in this job. Sure do love mowing grass. The man squints and scans the yard. Why does that bush look like a bugbear? A... Uh, you think that's a bug? But that's not a bugbear. That's a land seahorse. The man looks around for Sarah. Wait a minute. Wasn't there three of you? Help. The man steps over to the overturned mower and lifts it off of you. What are you doing down there? You know, you could drown. I hope you two are ready to die. The man shakes his head. We, we can't tolerate this kind of nonsense. I'm going to have to let y'all go. Yeah, fine by me. I got out of hand real fast. You just wait. This is because of my hedge clipper hands. I'm going to sue for wrongful termination. I'll remind you that you're in Florida. Well, I guess we're done here then. You've made a mistake. I mean, next week can't be any worse than this, right? In continuing our outdoor manual labor extravaganza, today you'll be roofers. I hope you're ready for a challenge. I sure am. What about you guys? She looks way too happy. Yeah, I almost stayed home. Today, the three of you will be assisting a local contractor as he replaces the roof on the house of an ex-Jaguar. Ooh, I wonder who it is. We should stick together. Good call. When you get to the house a little before 8 a.m., you see that the contractor, Larry, is already on the roof. He waves you up. Everybody give me climb checks. 10. 16. 4. Waylon and Sarah make it up the ladder and onto the slope, no problem. 
Lance, you slip on one of the rungs and fall onto the ground. Take three falling damage as you land flat on your back. Maybe I'll just stay down here for the day. Not really an option. You left me alone up here with her? Hey Larry, what are we doing today? Well, for starters, you could tell your little friend down there to grab a stack of shingles and bring him up if he ever figures out how to use the ladder. Hey Lance, Larry said to yeah, bring up- Yeah, I heard him. We'll come back to that. Waylon, Larry hands you a nail gun and instructs you to start installing shingles on the far side of the roof. <sighs> At least a nail gun gives me a chance against Sarah. Sarah, Larry hands you a roofing shovel and points at a section of old shingles and tar paper. I love destroying stuff. Lance, give me an athletics check and a climb check to carry the shingles up to Waylon. Nine and fourteen. You successfully make it onto the roof. Larry says, nice of you to join us. Go lay those over by Waylon. Hey, hey, Larry, do we have a safety rope or a harness or anything up here? Larry laughs and continues his work on the plumbing stack. Before you go back down there, see if Sarah needs your help collecting any trash. <laughs> hey, Sarah, um, do, do you have any trash or anything I could get for you? You remember, teamwork makes the dream work, right? Oh, does it? Yes. Sarah, give me a rip check to pull up the old shingles. 23. Nice work. In one swift motion, you slam the shovel into the roof and yank out a section of shingles that quickly fills a cleanup bag. Typical Sarah W. Waylon, give me a nail gun check to install the shingles. <sighs> Two. While you were worried about Sarah, you mistakenly set your bostage to zero. What does that mean? It means you've destroyed an entire stack of shingles. Larry looks over and says... Gee, I guess somebody's not getting paid today. Just attack us already. We know you're gonna. I don't know what you're talking about. Lance, you could take a 10 to get back down, but as you descend the ladder, give me a perception check. 12. You see a large white van pull into the driveway? It stops and two corporate looking guys step out of it. And are they here to help us? Oh no. These gentlemen are with the insurance company. Larry? Looks like we got some visitors. They're in a really nice- Larry place. stops what he's doing and starts barking orders. Lance, get up here, now. Waylon, give me that nail gun. He rips it out of your hands before you can react. Um, what's going on? Adjusters. Larry holds up the nail gun and twitches a bit. Don't fire until you see the whites of their eyes. Roofing is awesome. This is it, isn't it? You hired these people to take us out. <laughs> I don't outsource my dirty work. Lance, give me a climb check. 17. Nice. When you get up onto the roof, you see that the insurance agents have reached the bottom of the ladder and are beginning to climb up. Hey guys, anything we can help you with? Kick the ladder down. One of the men says, Sorry, we need you guys off the roof so we can assess the damages. Aren't we already doing that? Hey, we're kind of already doing that. Larry says, The lady's right, boys. We're in the middle of a contract here. Yeah, maybe you guys should just come back another time. Larry looks over at you and does this. I don't know what any of that means. One of the agents has made it onto the roof. Roll initiative. Six. Twenty-two. Twenty. Sarah's up first. I'm gonna hit the insurance guy upside the head with my roof shovel. Nat twenty. The moment the agent's boots touch plywood, Sarah swings her shovel and hits him across the jaw, sending him stumbling backward. Thirty-eight damage. He somehow manages to maintain his balance and stay on the roof, but it's Larry's turn now, and he's pretty mad. This is just great. If we get through this, we still have her to deal with. Hold on. Who said I was getting revenge today? You all hear Larry scream something about Gable Vents as he throws the nail gun onto the roof and spear tackles the agent over the side. We kind of assumed you'd want to get us back for last week. Oh, I do. And I will. But not today. Waylon, it's your turn. How close am I to the nail gun? You can reach it with your move action. What are you doing? It's just an insurance policy. She does still have a shovel. He's got a point. I'm going for it. You pick up the nail gun. I assume to point at Sarah. Just until Lance and I get off the roof. I would just like th the record to show I don't support this idea. Mm -hmm. It's the other agent's turn, but he's going to spend it fleeing. We are top of the round back to Sarah. I'm going to climb down and remove the ladder. Sarah quickly scurries down the ladder where Larry is waiting, standing over an unconscious adjuster. Well, that's great. Now we are stuck on a roof. Technically, you could jump off. Larry did it. She did it again. <sighs> Some things never change. Dude, being a roofer is like 
a special kind of stressful. Okay, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is you'll be on separate job sites today, so we don't have to worry about any PvP situations. Fine by me. You know, that news is so good, I don't even care what the bad news is. We're living on borrowed time, man. The bad news is you're electricians. Everyone roll initiative. 13. 19. Ooh, 21. Lance, you're up first. You arrive at the job site, which is a newly constructed grocery store. Hey, if Sarah's not there, I've got nothing to worry about. No offense. I take it as a compliment. The manager calls you over. He explains that for now, you'll need to help with the outlet and switch boxes, but later you'll be installing conduit. I think, I think I have everything I need here. Do you have Klein tools? Oh, yes. Then you have everything you need. Give me a survival check to walk across the floor. Survival? To just walk across the floor? Yeah, it's covered in enough zip ties and wire caps to be considered difficult terrain. Whew. 17. You make it over to the far wall and start prepping your boxes. Remember to stay hydrated as there is no AC currently. <sighs> Great. Sarah, a nearby transformer exploded recently. You'll be helping replace it. I'm a lineman? Line woman. Who cares? Let's climb. Pump the brakes, Storm Soldier. You're an apprentice. Most of your work's gonna be on the ground. So what am I doing? Give me a continuity check to test your coils. 18. Everything looks good. Don't go far. You'll need to take down the old transformer next. Whoopee. Waylon, you'll be assisting a journeyman in troubleshooting a residential customer. Sounds good. What do you need from me? Customer says there's no power in the kitchen, so you'll need to start by testing some of the outlets. All right. Do I use my voltmeter bonus? Eventually, yes. But for now, just give me a search check to find the screwdriver in your tool bag. 22. Sorry, you can't find it. With a 22? Why would finding a common tool in my own tool bag have such a high DC? That's a good question. Alternatively, you could spend the rest of your turn just dumping the bag out onto the floor and finding it that way. <sighs> Fine, I'll do that, I guess. The moment the tools spill onto the ground, you see your screwdriver. Almost as if it was on top of everything the entire time. Yeah, that sounds about right. Lance, give me a dex check to mount some bracket boxes. Nine. You manage to mount the boxes, but you install the wrong fittings. Your coworker says, what the heck are you doing, rookie? My best? Your boss says, Meltzer, leave the box work to the smart guys. Come help me bend this conduit pipe. Well, you just tell me what to do and I can do it. <laughs> uh, uh, what do I roll? Give me a measure check to mark the pipe for the bend. 15. Not bad. You managed to bend the pipe into the perfect angle. Looks like you may have found your niche. Gee, I hope my skills transfer over to plumbing edition. As you bend, give me a reflex save. 12. You feel a tap on your shoulder, but when you turn around, no one's there. Huh. That's weird. Did I bump into something? Doesn't look like it. But you do notice something in the corner. It's a broom. <gasps> Relax. Lance is the only one that sees the broom. Sarah, give me a strength check to help lower the old transformer with the pulley. 13. It's a bit of a struggle, but you and your fellow groundmen manage to control the weight of the transformer and lower it to the ground safely. Wow. Shocking. I can barely contain my excitement. Well, you'll be happy to know that the journeyman on the pole could use a hand running some hot leads. Finally, I can put my dwarven gaffs of climbing to use. Give me a climb check with advantage. 14 and 23. You successfully make it up to the pole and into position. Give me a wiring check to finish the installation. 10. From what you can tell, you've done the wiring correctly, but there is a louder than usual hum coming from it. Uh-oh. Give me a dex save. 20. You manage to drop down just in time as a loud pop fills the air and a fire plume shoots out. That's not supposed to happen. Waylon, back in the house, it appears the problem is the breaker. You'll need to replace it. <sighs> All right, where is it? In the garage. I'll head that way. As you cross through the house, you see your boss arguing with a guy from another company. He appears to be there to fix the phone. Ugh, low voltage, guys. Am I right? <laughs> you know, some people would call you a low voltage guy. You really want to go there? You reach the breaker. Ooh, I actually get a plus three bonus on breaker checks. 25. You get the two pole 50 swapped out, no problem. And that's how it's done. On your way back inside, give me a perception check. 11? You hear a scream from the kitchen. Whoa, what, what's going on? It appears the homeowner is disputing the bill. Awesome. 
I guess I'll go and see if I can help defuse the situation. Lance, what are you doing? I am going to try to smash that broom with my bender. I should be clear, the broom is only a theoretical enemy. I mean, you can attack it if you want, but it's not going to fight back. Okay. Uh, then I am just gonna bend more conduit pipe. You've been working quite a while without water, or air conditioning. Give me a survival check with disadvantage. Seven and three. You collapse from heat exhaustion. Sarah, after the smoke clears, your supervisor waves you over. Hey boss, what's up? Your time with this company, you're fired. What? You said I did the wiring correctly. Technically I said from what you can tell, the wiring was done correctly. A 10 doesn't tell you that much. This was supposed to be the cool job. Just wait until next week. What's that supposed to mean? Waylon, when you make it into the kitchen, the woman who owns the house is shouting in your boss's face. Ma'am, what's the problem? This bill is way too high. I'm supposed to get a family discount. Family discount? Yeah. She points to your boss and says, his sister-in-law's chiropractor goes to my church. What do we do here? Normally, I'd suggest hiring an attorney, but lucky for you, your boss has one on retainer for situations just like this. Starting to get the feeling that non-payment is a big problem in contract work. You think? Well, at least none of us got electrocuted. Yet. So what are we doing next? We're back at the trades, and this time, you'll be plumbers. (sighs) Ah, gee, I hope the session isn't too, uh, crappy. Off to a bad start. Plumbing can't be that bad. I mean, Mario and Luigi do it. Look, they're always happy. Today, we'll be working at a big house with big problems. Everyone give me initiative rolls to see what you'll be doing. 13. 19. 7. When you arrive at the house, the homeowner warns you that there may be clutter around. They just recently moved in and they're still getting settled. Oh, I'm sure it's no trouble. When did you move in? 1992. Sarah, the customer's primary complaint is that none of the toilets in the house will flush. It also smells terrible. I'll grab my snake and start on the roof vent. Give me an athletics check to get yourself and your gear up onto the roof. 22. You make it up to the roof successfully. And when you do, you see that there is a bird's nest sitting on top of the main vent. Seriously? Would you like to remove the bird? Yes, I want to remove the bird's nest. You spend the rest of your turn clearing away the twigs and mud. And you do finally manage to get it clear, but... Doesn't seem to have made any difference with the problem. Of course not. Lance, there's a leak coming from the water heater in the garage. I'll head that way. As you make your way to the garage, give me a deck save. Four. As you round the corner, a cat jumps off of a nine-foot-tall stack of National Geographic magazines, which comes crashing down onto you. Nine feet tall? Take five bludgeoning damage. Are these people hoarders? Maybe. Waylon, the garbage disposal in the downstairs kitchen isn't working. Downstairs kitchen? How much money do these people have? If you think they're rich now, wait until it's time to pay. Does the garbage disposal make any noise when you try to use it? The homeowner shakes her head. I don't know. The maid said it's not working. Do these people have any idea what's going on in their own house? Not particularly. Give me a diagnostic check. 16. When you flip the switch, nothing happens. No sound, nothing. (sighs) I'm going to hit the reset button and try again. You successfully reset the disposal, but when you turn it on, it just makes a weird humming sound. Sarah? Roof fence look good, so I guess we'll head back downstairs and start checking cleanouts. As you reach the bottom of the ladder, give me a perception check. Twelve. As you take the ladder back to the truck, you notice a small puddle of water in the yard. Has it rained recently? Not this week. (sighs) This is a broken sewer pipe. You think so? But you'll probably need to snake drain your cleanouts to confirm. I have a feat called Seen This Before. It gives me advantage on any problem I've dealt with before. Have you dealt with a broken sewer pipe? My character's been a plumber for eight years, so... In that case, you confirm your suspicion in short order. Looks like it's time to start digging. Who wants to help me dig a trench? I can help after I check the water heater. Speaking of which, you've made it into the garage. When you walk in, you see the water heater over in the corner. I am going to start by checking the flex connectors. 16. The connections look fine, but you discover a bigger problem, as it seems this water heater has no stand to speak of. No... no stand? So it's... it's just on the floor? Indeed. Well... That's an accident waiting to happen. Uh, where's the breaker? In a utility closet on the second floor. Let me guess. It's buried under a pile of bootleg VHSs. No. 
But there is a large stack of cans that you'll need to move out of the way before opening the door. Cans? Wayland, back in the kitchen, the garbage disposal hums away, but it doesn't appear that the blade is spinning. Looks like I have an ability called, there's a YouTube video for that. Oh, do tell. As a bonus action, I can make a knowledge plumbing check to look up common problems and their solutions. Roll the knowledge check. 18. You find a video that says most of the time you can unstick it by lightly tapping on it with a broom handle or a pipe wrench. If I could do that, couldn't the homeowner? Yep. Let's go with the wrench. After a few quick taps, the garbage disposal roars to life and the blade starts spinning again. Sweet. I guess I'll head outside and help Sarah with the trench. I mean, it sounds better than cans. Sarah Whalen arrives to help you dig the trench. What's the situation? Bad sewer pipe. We need to dig it up and replace it. I'll turn off the water. <sighs> so what do I make a dig check? Hold on. First, I'm going to tell the homeowner that we're turning off the water and not to use the toilet. Noted. The homeowner won't use the toilet until you say so. Are you sure? Because sometimes people say that, and then you get like half. The homeowner seems offended. Um, I'm not stupid, okay? I think I know how to not use a toilet. Great. Okay, we'll get to work. Waylon, go ahead and give me a strength check to start digging. 14. Well done. You managed to dig out around the pipe and find the problem pretty quickly. That worked out. Lance, you finally finish moving all of the cans out of the way and turn off the breaker for the water heater. Whew. Okay. Crisis averted. Now I can diagnose the problem. You do realize that Sarah's turned off the water. Oh. Well, then maybe I should go outside. You can. As you make your way outside, you see that the owner of the home is walking into the bathroom. Oh, no. Um, Sarah? Due to the nature of clutter in the house, it's going to take you the rest of your turn to get outside. <sighs> Good luck. Back in the trench, Sarah and Waylon, give me perception checks, please. 15. 21. Sarah, you hear shouting coming from inside the house. Sounds kind of like Lance. What's he yelling about? Waylon, you too hear the shouting, but you also hear what sounds like a low, gurgling rumble coming from the cut-open pipe that you and Sarah are standing in front of. Oh, shh. Shaking with pressure, the pipe jiggles a bit before exploding with sewage. Immediately after, the front door swings open and Lance rushes outside. The homeowner's a few steps behind him. She raises her hand and says, Sorry. Uh, sorry, guys. I, I tried to warn you. You and me both. Well, that's all I had planned for the day. <sighs> Never again. If your goal is to discourage people from getting into trades, you're doing a great job. It's more about giving love to the people that have to deal with this kind of stuff every day. Yeah, okay. That's fair. So... What's next? Hope you brought your hammers. Today, the three of you have been tasked with completing the drywall and framing on a new house. Anything's better than toilets. Did you guys know that Harrison Ford did carpenter work before he was Han Solo? Yeah, Nick Offerman does woodworking too. Let's do it. Go ahead and give me percentile rolls to see what you'll be doing. Ooh, 20. 7. 14. Lance, you'll be on the saw today. It's your job to make sure that Sarah and Waylon have everything they need wood-wise. Can do? Luckily, I maxed out my measuring skill. Waylon, you'll be constructing the last two walls of the frame. <laughs> Studs for a stud. And Sarah, you'll need to start drywalling the finished walls in the main hallway. Roto saw. Lance, we'll start with you. First, you'll need to cut some wood pieces for blocking. No problemo. What length? 14 and 3 eighths. But you'll need to find your pencil first. Oh, I have... right. I... Just had it. Give me a search check with disadvantage. Eleven and three. You have no idea where your pencil is. Wait, what if I just hold the tape in place and move it at the last second? That's a pretty stupid way to lose a finger. Eh, I got the points for it. Twenty-three. Wow, you somehow managed to cut the wood to the exact length without doing any damage to the tape. Or yourself. Well, I guess I'm a cut above the rest, huh? Yeah, you're probably going to want to find your pencil. Waylon, you've got some 2 by 4s if you'd like to go ahead and set up your plating. Yeah, I'm looking at the plans you sent over. Are we sure this is the most efficient way to make this wall? If by most efficient you mean literally the only way it will work, yes. Great. I'll start making the marks every 16 inches. Give me a measure check. 12. You successfully mark your top and bottom plates. This is actually pretty easy. I guess I'll start nailing the studs into the bottom plate. Give me a dex check to use your nail gun. Two. While nailing in your studs, one of the nails kicks up and hits you in the thumb. Take seven piercing damage. 
Maybe it's not so easy. Sarah, it's time to hang some drywall. Give me an athletics check to set it up on the panel lifter. 16. You managed to get the panel in place. Give me a dex check to put in the screws. 10. You're pretty sure you used the right screws. What does that mean? Hmm? Oh, well, you didn't use a stud finder, so you could have... You know what? You don't really need to worry about it. Well, now I'm worried about it. Sometimes if you're not paying attention to the size and locations of your screws, you might accidentally, say, put one through an existing electrical wire, for example. Okay. So how do I know if I did? Well, you don't. You <laughs> you weren't using a stud fine. Are you paying attention? Why is wood this complicated? Lance, you finished cutting the blocking pieces for Waylon. Now you'll just need to join or double up some of them. Oh, no problem. I just need to find my hammer. Which was in my hand two seconds ago. Give me another search check. Eleven. No sign of it. What's the point of having all these expensive tools if I can't find them? A question that's haunted the trades for years. I got it. I can use wood glue. Um, sure, yeah, you can do that. Give me a glue check. <sighs> that's a one. <laughs> Hold on, what about your bonuses? I don't get any. I'm using it untrained. I dumped all my skill points into measuring. Lance's hands are now glued together. Well, I'm probably done for the day. Waylon, you've just finished your wall. Give me a strength check to lift it upright. 19. You lift it up with ease. But as you take a few steps back and examine it further, you notice that it looks a little... wavy. What do you mean wavy? It's wood. Yeah, see, the thing about boards, they're not always perfectly straight. In fact, they all tend to have a bit of a curve or bow to them. Uh-oh. Can I fix it? You could build a new wall. Unless you want to leave this wonky one for Sarah and make her job harder. I'll just build a new wall. Good idea. As you move the unusable frame out of the way, give me a deck save. Eight. Take three splinter damage. Sarah, how's drywall? So it turns out the screw I used was slightly too long. Is there any way to tell if I damaged the wire? Oh, you'll be notified. Likely by an angry electrician. Well, at least I use the right ones for the rest of it. What now? The moment you've been waiting for. You'll need to use your rotary tool to cut out some blocks yeah, on Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. 23. Wow, that's quite the saw work. Unfortunately, you didn't give me an opportunity to confirm with you whether or not it has a dust catcher, so I'm just going to assume that it doesn't. What? You're blinded for the next three rounds. Perfect. Just what my lungs needed. Silica. Lance, how goes it? What? Is this Gorilla Glue? What the heck is this stuff? Give me a strength check to pry your hands apart. Six. In a swift jerking motion, you manage to rip your hands apart, but as you do, your momentum sends you stumbling backwards and falling on top of your tool belt. Hey, there's my hammer. Hey, now you definitely won't lose it. Waylon? All right, I did it again. I did the sighting this time. Nice. Give me a strength check to raise it. Fifteen. You get it upright, but... Unfortunately, there's no room for studs on the ends. You should have made it California Corners. Anybody want to leave? Whoa, you can't leave yet. There's still a whole bunch of work to do. I can get behind that plan. Let's just bail. Fine by me. You knew this was going to happen, didn't you? Most of it, yeah. Although the hammer was a fun little surprise. Carpentry turned out to be way more than we bargained for. Could we do something, uh, cooler? It's HVAC time. Your truck pulls up in front of a modest residential home. What's the issue here? According to the ticket, the AC isn't cooling properly. It's probably just a backup in the drip line. It's like 90% of issues. I will grab the compressed air. I'll make contact with the customer. A woman enters the front door. She's sweating. Oh, thank God you're here. My, my AC's been stuck at 85 for two days. We'll have you cooling again in no time. Where are your units located? I, I, I don't know. You don't know where your handler is? Like, in a closet, maybe? The attic? You're free to look around. I... She doesn't know. Let's split up. I'll take the attic. I'll search the bottom floor. I'll take second floor. Everyone give me search checks. 16. 14. 17. Lance, you find the condenser unit under a pile of palmettos. It also looks like a vine has grown into the fan blade. I'll radio the other two. Hey, I might have found the issue, guys. 
It's like a jungle out here. Justin, the beam of your flashlight glides around the room before finally landing on the handler. I'll approach slowly. This bad boy hasn't been serviced since it's been installed. Sarah, you find the return located in a hall closet on the second floor. There's a weird sucking sound coming from inside. I'll open the door. Roll initiative. 19. 13. 15. Justin, you're up first. We got an 18 to inspect the handler. Is there anything that sticks out? The unit itself seems to be rattling, and you see a stream of water leaking out the bottom. It's probably the coil, but I'll go over this thing top to bottom. Can I see what brand it is? You find a tag and wipe away the dust. It's a carrier. Oh, nice. I'll get started. Lance, how's the condenser? Well, I cut back most of the plants so I could access it. Now I'm just working on this vine. The customer steps out the back door. What? What have you done to my plants? Well, ma'am, they were interfering with the condensers, so I just trimmed them back a little bit. But palmettos are incredibly resilient plants. I I'm sure they'll grow back. My husband planted those before... Before he... Oh, please don't say it. Please don't say it. Please don't say died. it. Died. He's dead. I'm not sure what to do in this situation. Sarah, the door swings open, and a wall of dust and pet hair falls onto you. I'm going to get my shop back to start cleaning off the filter. The sheer amount of debris is too much for your shop back. It clogs almost immediately. How much dust are we talking? A ridiculous amount. It's almost unbelievable. In fact, moving forward, your company's going to be using this house as an example of what happens when you don't do routine maintenance. All right, I guess I'll start shoveling the dust into garbage bags. Can I at least see the filter? <laughs> no, 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 you can't. I'm going to reach into this mess and try to find it. Give me a grapple check. 13. Nice. Justin, what's up? I think I found the problem. The evaporator coil has eroded and caused a leak, so I'll fix that. Give me a sleight of hand check to replace it without fault. 18. You're able to pull the old one out and get the new one in pretty easily. Nice. Just need to do one more thing. Why are you rolling? Oh, remember how you said there was a leak on the floor next to the coil? Yeah. Well, you hear a cracking sound, and you look down just in time to see the floor completely give away. Lance? I got a two on charm person. Um... All right, well, now the widow thinks that you're hitting on her after pulling up her dead husband's plants. Oh, okay. Um, ma'am, what if I just made all your repairs free today? Hmm? Would that set things right? She pauses for a moment and thinks about it. Maybe. Okay, okay. I just need to go talk to my boss real quick. Let me go get her. Sarah, where are you? You are unable to answer, as the dust has formed into a literal dust bunny that is now restraining you by the arm. This just got interesting. 22 to punch it. Your hand passes through, and the dust just kind of swirls to the other side of it. What stops dust? You hear a cracking from above you. As you look up, you see Justin falling through the ceiling. Hey, I fixed the coil pack. What's that? That would be a dust bunny. Right. Roll initiatives. 12. 15. Okay. The bunny goes first. It uses allergy attack. Everyone roll con saves. Eight. Nine. You both go into uncontrollable sneezing fits and are effectively incapacitated for the next two rounds. Lance approaches. So, what's happening here? Dust bunny. Weird. Did you try punching it? The homeowner approaches. <laughs> That's the thing that killed my husband. I'm going to attack it with Freon. Roll your attack. 26. The Freon freezes all the dust together like a giant dust bunny statue. Looks like you're having a bad hair day. The widow runs to your arms. My hero. All in a day's work, ma'am. I'm still not hitting on her. Well, I hope you're ready to get colorful. Because it's time to paint. I'm sure this isn't going to suck. Today, the three of you will be painting a newly constructed home. As you approach the job site, it seems the carpentry team just left. How big is the house? About 2,000 square feet. Well, it shouldn't take that long with the three of us, so I'll start in the back bedroom. I guess I will do the kitchen. Sarah, that leaves you in the living room. Fine, but I am only doing one coat. Everyone give me strength checks to move your tools. 21. 15. Three. Lance, the five-gallon paint bucket is way heavier than you remember. You drop it off the back of the truck and spill paint 
all over the driveway. Oh, no. Uh, what do I do? Something would be good. I'm gonna try to scoop it up with my hands. Give me a scoop check. 16. You managed to get a good amount of it up, but there's still quite a bit left to clean. Maybe you could Google it. Ooh, on it. Justin, when you get to the bedroom, you see that the walls, in fact, are not done. Cool. I guess I'll haul all my gear to a different room and start there. The second bedroom is just down the hall. Give me another strength check, this time with disadvantage. 19 and 12. You just barely make it into the next room, which is also not finished. Why would they tell us we could start painting if the rooms aren't ready? It's just the way it goes. Sarah, you've arrived in the living room. I'll assemble my spray gun. 11. When you pull back on the trigger, nothing happens. Is this because I forgot to clean it? It's because you forgot to clean it, yeah. Great. How much time is that going to take? To do it correctly? An hour? Can I just paint it by hand? With like brushes and rollers or something? You could, but it's going to take you like five hours to do it that way. You could just use the sprayer and be done in like 30 minutes. I'll clean out the sprayer. Remember, Sarah... Proper equipment maintenance is essential. You dumped a bucket of paint on the driveway two minutes ago. Yeah. But my sprayer's clean. Lance, how is the cleanup going? Oh, awesome. That video I watched was a lifesaver. I just soaked up the paint with some extra dirt and then cleaned up the last little bit with some industrial paint thinner. Mm Mm-hmm. And how much paint thinner did you use? Follow-up question, how did you use it? I don't know, like a gallon? I just poured it on the ground where the paint was. Give me a perception check. Ten. You hear the door of a nearby truck click open and close. Justin, any luck finding any rooms you can paint? I think so. The bathroom looks done, so maybe I could start here. Nice. How do you want to start? Well, first I'm going to use a full round action to tape up the corners and then put plastic over the things that I don't want to paint. Give me a mask check. Fifteen. That all goes well. Looks like you're ready to start painting. What was that? What was what? That smile. It usually means something bad is going to happen. Oh, come on. I I can't just be happy playing D&D with my buds. You're only happy when you make party wipes happen. Or when we rage quit. Or when we can't figure out one of your puzzles, which is embarrassingly frequently. Okay, look, while all of that is true, I'm just in a good mood today. That's all. I'll start painting. You grab the wrong color. A spray of crimson red blasts across the wall. You son of a- Sarah, how goes it? Well, I've unclogged the line. I'm going to do a test spray on a piece of cardboard. 17. Everything seems to be working fine. Okay, I'll start painting. 28. Everything's going great. You're maintaining a great distance from the wall. There's no dripping or running. It's a pretty clean first coat. Obviously, I'm a pro. You do hear footsteps approaching. Sounds like two people. It better not be who I think it is. It's the homeowners. They just stopped by to check on all the progress you're making. You are the worst kind of person. As they scan the room, you hear one of them say, Is this the color we picked? No, we just picked one. Lance, outside, you're approached by a man you've never seen before. Oh, hey dude. What can I do for you? He flips open a batch. It reads, OSHA. OSHA, you say. Hmm. We've been following you and your little crew for a while now. Seems like your most recent violation is dumping toxic chemicals on the ground. Oh, no, I don't think so. The bottle said mineral spirits. Which is made from patrol... Let me ask you something, sir. How do you sleep at night knowing that paint thinner might find its way down to the storm drain? You're right. I wasn't thinking. This is the problem with you people. You never think about safety. What happens if little Timmy drinks some water out of the swamp and it's got acetone in it? Dude, if little Timmy's drinking from swamps, I think he has bigger problems. Huh. I got a 23 on my bribe check. We can just forget about all this, right, my friend? (laughs) I'm gonna slip him a $5 bill. Let me see your contractor's license. I'll hand it over. As he stares you down, the man begins ripping your license into shreds. Can he do that? Eh, he's OSHA. There's not much he can't do. Justin? I'm going outside to get the correct color of paint, I guess. As you reach the front door, you look outside to see that Lance is speaking with someone from OSHA. Well, I am going to turn around and go right back inside. I'll see what Sarah's up to. When you round the corner, you see that she's talking to a couple. They appear to be the homeowners. In fact, you recognize them. Where do I know them from? Give me a knowledge contract history check. 23. You do recognize them. It's the couple whose bathroom you remodeled back in Construction Edition. After that debacle, they just decided to build a whole new house. I gotta get Sarah out of here. 
What are you doing? Trying to save you from a major headache. Sarah, it appears the homeowners are upset that you're using what they're calling the wrong color. Okay, well, that's not really how this works. When we set up contracts, we As all- As you explain, the wife sees Justin flailing in the corner of the room. She gasps and turns back to you. Does he work here? Yeah. Is that a problem? The husband says, yeah, he double charged us. Don't listen to these people. They are crazy. Hey guys, uh, we have to leave. What? Why? OSHA is shutting us down. For paint? What about all the other stuff we've done? Oh, that was considered. That's okay. I don't want to work for those clowns anyway. Well, you managed to make it through the trades with little resistance. What are we doing next week? Can we make it something a little fun this time? We can do that. Let's have some fun. Mostly, I'm fortunate that I've been able to ignore the coordinates. I got a history of being insubordinate, but when the penis gonna be when the fortune hits? Like, dang, he said he would do it, and he really did it. He really committed. The kid wasn't kidding. We should have listened instead of calling him a degenerate. Been independent. I'm into administering a percentage of them in a dome. I'm winning attention again and again, and I got him grinning when I enter the room, bringing the boom. One of a kind, I'm not here to change your mind. I'm here to remind you that finding the fire inside you is what's gonna keep you alive. Lady like yo, ain't you like 35 years old? How you been living with the flow so cold? I tell them that I keep warm with my alchemist fire. I stay warm with my alchemist fire. Baby like yo, ain't you like 35 years old? How you been living with the flow so cold? I tell them that I keep warm with my alchemist fire. I stay warm with my alchemist fire.